guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are interested in the way that i achieve this look then make sure that you continue to watch and do not forget to like and subscribe i appreciate each and every one of you guys thank you so this is a primer that i picked up from miss a store it is a store inside of like a mall i don't know if you guys have them but they are here in texas inside of our malls and they're like a dollar cosmetic store so i wanted to try some of their products so i decided to pick this up this is a poreless primer um what i've been noticing lately is when i've been doing my makeup that my pores have been showing oh that's oozing okay so we're gonna go ahead and just try it and see what happens So now I'm going to take my Milani product. This is the matte finishing spray, but I like to put it on first because I do have oily skin. So we're going to start out with putting this on. Woo. Okay. And then I also picked up a, um, a scrub, a lip scrub from Miss A as well. So I'm going to try that on my lips. So then I did like for the last two videos, I think I have been using Milani product. Um, this is the Milani um, Conceal in Perfect Foundation slash concealer. Um, this is like nine bucks at Ulta, and um, I've been using it. I really like it. This is the color Chestnut. I really like it so far, so I'm gonna use it in this video as well. Oh, I can get it out. Okay, there we go. So now I take like a kabuki brush, I think that's how you say it, kabuki brush, and I just kind of wet it with that Milani setting spray. And I'm just gonna go in. I need a mirror. So now I'm going to take my sponge. You're going to be using this. If I can find it. Damn. So now I'm going in with my sponge. Um, and I'm going to go in again with the Milani spray. You're going to be using a lot of this. I've noticed that it does help blend. Um, you can wet your beauty blender. I don't have time for that right now. So we just going to go ahead and just use the spray. Okay. So we're just going to wet it. And then we're going to blend. Like I, found mirror. Okay. I used to not do my foundation first and then I found that doing my foundation uh, my foundation first 
um, it's definitely been helpful, like for sure, for sure. You just want to make sure like you blend in completely, you know. My nose, I try to do a light on the blending because I want there to be a, a contrast. So I don't really go in too heavy with blending my nose. And I'll, I'll show you guys why in a second. But There's something on my face. Sorry, guys. Okay, so that is done. Now we're going to go in with my... Um, Makeup Revolution, and this is in the color F15. It's the uh, it's the foundation today. I cannot talk today, guys. It's like 10 o'clock at night, and I'm tired. I'm sorry, y'all. But this is the foundation stick, and I'm gonna go in with this and contour. I'm totally losing my turn thoughts. Maybe I should just be quiet now. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna contour that forehead. Kim K taught me how to make threes on my face. So what you do is you start here, and then you do in, and you just make a three. Yeah, so I'm also gonna take this foundation stick and go in to my nose. It looks crazy right now, but you'll be fine in a second. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna blend this out. before I think I was going like too dark with my um, my contour so that's why it wasn't looking like effortlessly it was just looking kind of crazy and that's because I was going too damn dark so now I found that this color is way better and it gives me the results that I I want of a like a pinched nose honey contour the shit out of it make it look like I had a damn nose job boom bitch and it's still gonna look crazy right now but I'm telling y'all wait till y'all see the end result I'm not done yet but once we get to blending everything it's gonna be perfect Concealer again, just down the middle. There we go. And I'm gonna put it on the side, but I'm not. Take my brush again, it's all nasty now, but take your brush again and just like gently, gently tap. back in with that brush that I just finished contouring with just to make sure that there aren't any harsh lines so Brush fail. Okay, here we go. So, okay, so once you have your contour down, you're going to take your Morphe. 
concealer and we're gonna just highlight under the uh, cheekbone so just to kind of make those cheekbones pop out we're gonna go back into the sponge and we're gonna just wet it really good and we're gonna go see we're gonna blend Out. Your arms are probably gonna get tired, but you'll be fine. Tell me the wetter your your uh, beauty blender is, the better. brush that we use to blend out our foundation just to make sure there isn't like a harsh line we don't want that so just barely tapping it just to make sure there's no harsh lines and there you go so now it's time to blend out this side and i'll be right back Ooh, i say okay so loud. i'm sorry guys now what we're going to do is we're going to go in with our um, translucent powder again I'm using the makeup revolution um, this one is translucent then I have another one that's like terracotta I mix them and I put them like all in this little jar right here and then we work with that so I'm basically gonna do a little bit of the translucent leave that in there and then I'm going to do little bit of the banana I just mix them all together a little bit of each. and then I'm going to do like a little bit of the um, the terracotta just a little bit okay. mix all of that together I just use like the, the back of a brush or something to get it all mixed together or something. And it winds up looking like this that you mix it. And that's what we're gonna use under our eyes. Um, so yeah. Okay, so we're going in with the translucent powder now. I'm gonna look so short. Sorry guys, I slouch. Oh, okay, here we go. So now we're going in with the translucent powder. Over into the nose too. And that will help like that dark line blend a lot better. So get in there. Popping. Okay, now we're going to take um, like a square sponge. It's kind of dirty, but what else? Um, I don't know if you guys have one, but if you don't, you can always use like one of those uh, Dollar General like sponges. You just want to make sure that you can be able to get under the cheekbone. I 
Okay, so now this is a trick that I learned from um, that girl Farah on the Instagram. I think that's her name. Farah, Farah, I don't know her Instagram at name, but she said to wet the the sponge and then go back in and blend out your translucent powder. So guess what I've been doing lately? And guess who's been loving the results? Me. So we're going back. There we go. And I'm just gonna blend that out. So the sponge is wet and I'm just going in and touching um, the, the translucent powder. As y'all can see, I can't talk to you. Gonna shut up and do it. So now we're gonna wipe it in just to make sure we got enough moisture to take care of that underneath. Okay, so now that that's blended out, how do I see like a glare over here? Oh, okay, it's just the camera. Okay. okay, so now I'm gonna close that. Put that off to the side, boo. Bam. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back in. Okay, so now that that is completed, um, we're gonna go in with my eyeshadow and get that popping off. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this colorful look. Y'all bear with me because I don't know how it's going to come out. Hopefully, it comes out well. I'm a little nervous, but let's see what happens. So. We're gonna start with um just uh geez I don't know how we're gonna start this off. So we're gonna find out today. Um okay. Okay, alright, let's start off with orange. Let's build up on that orange. So we're gonna start with orange. I'm just gonna again I'm using my um my James Charles palette. Sorry guys, I gotta show you. I'm using the James Charles uh, James Charles palette. And we're gonna start with this orange. So let's go. Let's see. Here we go. orange now I have to figure out which color I'm gonna go with next okay so now I'm gonna clean my brush with this little thing I also bought this at Miss A and you just take it and rub your brush around it it's only a dollar and it gets all of that gunk or shadow from your previous color out so you can reuse it without having to wash it right away so yeah. okay Okay, so now we're gonna go in with this, I don't know what color that is. I guess it's like a mandarin, tangerine, shit, I don't know. It's one of them colors, but we're about to go in with that color, okay? So, we're just gonna go in on the outer corner here, just to kind of make it that a little bit more orange than what it is.
that's orange on the outer corner. When I go to the other one, do the same thing, not taking it in too far. So now I'm going to take a brush and just blend that out. I don't know which brush I'm going to take. Probably this one. I'm just going to wipe it off again. I guess. Wipe it out. And then I'm going to just blend this so it's not like a harsh line. Okay, so I've done my cut crease. Um, same way I normally do it. So I've done the cut crease. Now, now it is time to go in with the colors. I'm going to take this darker orange and kind of go in on the corners just to make sure it's as dark as possible. And I'm sorry, my TV is extremely loud right now, so I apologize. gonna go in with this yellow right there we're gonna go in with that here we go so i'm gonna take it on like a little flat brush we're just gonna paint Sorry guys, I'll keep on forgetting y'all there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry.
got going on in my eyelids right now. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my blush, hunty. 